Alright y'all, first lure I got tied on right now is no light bait needed, 3 inch butter color. Let's just see if we can get tight on this. Let's see what happens. Ready? First cast. Let me tighten up my drag a little bit. Just got hit, guys. Get it right there in that flow. Get it nice and slow. Like I said, guys, I do not have any live bait. We're just gonna see what's actually out here. If we can get dumped on something. something out there. There we go. Wow, one, bro. Oh, wow, something. Oh, I don't know what it is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Yo. Oh my gosh. There we go, guys. Just got dumped on a nice Amazonian peacock bass on the end live bait needed three inch right there. Holy smokes right there in that current. Wow. There's more fish out there too. Dang, he's going crazy already. Dang. Calm down, little fella. We're just trying to take a good look at you. Guys, check out this beautiful Amazonian peacock bass that just crushed the no light bait needed lure. Wow, what a handsome looking little fella. Dang, what a bite. I'm not going to waste too much time. We're going to send him back right on his way. All right, that was an, an incredible eat right there in the middle. All right, guys, I'm seeing some tarpon in the area. There's definitely some tarpon in the area. All right, y'all, so after throwing the lure for a while, I don't know, the bite kind of turned off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to catch a live bait right here and send them right in the current. And I really think that might be the ticket to catch a big monster fish. Alright, right off the bat, I already know there's a lot of bait here, so it has to be a big predator fish out here. I think it's a big snook or a big tarpon out here. Let's see if we can catch a bait. Oh, dang, just freaking robbed me. He just finessed me, y'all. Let's go ahead and try that again. You guys ready? About to catch a bait right now. There we go, right there. He's kind of big, though. Dang, he's really big. But you know what? I'm going to send him out anyways. Actually, dang, I don't know. He's super big. You know what? I'm just gonna send him. I'm just gonna send him, honestly. That's a really big bait right there. <laughs> That's a giant brim right there, but you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna send it. Let's see what happens. He might be too big. Whatever eats this, guys, is going to be a freaking giant. All right, guys, there's a lot of activity going on here, man. There's tons of little bait right here chilling. There's some mullet jumping. There's some tarpon rolling. Look, as you just saw right there, right? So I got a big bait out there. I'm kind of contemplating, should I just catch a smaller one? I think I might have to do that. Cause this bait is like literally a one-pound bluegill. Oh, he came off the hook? Wait, what? What's going on right here? Oh, what the? Guys, did you see that? I think somebody tried to eat him. So what's going on right here? Oh, it's a big peacock bass right there. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of peacock bass right below him. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna need a smaller bait. Yeah, I think we're gonna get a smaller bait, guys. This one's way too freaking big. You know what? Let's not even waste time. Let me go ahead and put them back. 
giant brim. Way too freaking big. Oh, it's a giant peacock bass right there, guys. Holy shit, what a stud. Watch, I'm gonna catch a brim right here and then just catch that peacock bass right now. There we go, perfect. Oh, it's a sunfish though. I don't know if he's gonna wanna hit it, but let's see what happens, guys. Ready? You ready for this? Live bait fishing at the spillway. <laughs> let's see what happens. I'm gonna drop him right here. Let's see if he gets eight. A little bit. Yo, there's some stud fish out here. Did he just get dumped? Look at that peacock bass go. I'll have to launch him right in that current. Let's see what happens, guys. Stay tuned. Get him right in there. Oh, I think he just got dumped already. On this video and this channel, it's all about teaching you guys how to become a better fisherman, okay? Spots that you definitely want to look out for, man. You want to look out for rocks, you know, structure, things of this sort, you know? Um, these rocks right here provide a good home for these little brim, these little bait fish right here. You know, they can easily hide in the rocks. They're being ambushed by a big fish. So, you know, in order to catch a big fish, you got to think like a big fish. And in order to catch bait, you need to think like bait. You know, this is a perfect spot where you can catch bait, launch it straight up in there, right? Because you see that water flowing coming out, right? You know, live bait is always key. You know, a lot of people say no live bait needed. In some cases, yeah. All right, so check this out, man. We got a perfect fishing spot all to ourselves. There's literally nobody here but me. And this is the type of stuff you want to look for. If you guys do like this video, be sure to comment down below. Be sure to like the video, share the video, do all that good stuff. And what is that bird doing? I'm not sure if they're feeling the sunfish, but I don't know. We're just going to try it out and see what happens. Stay tuned, guys. Oh, my God, guys. As I was really going to get in, there's a big fish right by it. Guys, oh, my God. Big tarpon. All right, for everybody wondering what the hell just happened, <laughs> as I was reeling in the bait, a monster snook or a tarpon, I don't know what, what it was, but it was something big came up and swooped at it and then cast it back out. Bait went straight into the rocks, so very unfortunate. So I just retied up. Let's see if we can catch another bait. Finessed. And yeah, it's kind of raining right now. We're, we're, I think we're about to get like a thunderstorm coming through. So the weather is definitely rainy, cloudy. But I don't think the fish seem to care. Because that fish came up really close. But I got a feeling he's going to bite again. Oh, it just got freaking robbed again. God damn. And I, think, I think the big fish are closer than we think. They're like right here. God damn. Can I get a freaking bait? Oh my god. Bro. I don't know what the hell is going on right now, but we need to just get it together. I'm back out here catching freaking record sized bluegill. What on earth? This is like a freaking world record. This is not the bait we're looking for. We're looking for something literally 20 times smaller than this thing, bro. God damn. Got the good old fashioned wheat bread. And come on. Come on, baby, talk to me nice. Oh my god, what the hell just happened? Freaking tilapia? Are you serious? You know what? Frick it, I'm just gonna send them. Just like that. Just like that, it's kind of big, bigger than I really wanted. But hey, what the hell? See if we could draw some commotion here. Don't go in the rocks now. Don't go in the rocks now, baby. We don't need you in the rock, we need you out there. I think you got bit already. Look at that slash mark right there. Right there, you got slashed already. I don't know 
what the hell is going on right now? I think something big just ate it. What the hell? What the hell is going on right now, guys? This sloppy is freaking the hell out right now. God damn, go out there. Oh my god. This sloppy just needs to get the frick out of here. get freaking frayed I don't know what's happening right now guys yeah guys I think he just got freaking eight yeah I think he just got eight right there all right one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know what the hell. Could have sworn you just got freaking dumped. Guys, we just need something to be picked up on this damn tilapia right now. I'm getting sick and tired of this shit. We're seeing her and get tight in three, two, one. All right, y'all, there's a chance I might be eight right now. There is that chance. But yo, this spot is absolutely beautiful. I got a feeling there's some giant fish in here. I mean, I've already seen a couple giant fish already. I think I'm on a fish right here. Let's see what happens. I'm just gonna let him eat it. Cause it is a big bait. Yeah, I'm gonna have to catch a new bait, guys. This bait got absolutely destroyed. Dang, busted my ass. This bait got absolutely destroyed. Sheesh. I'm gonna need a smaller bait too. This thing is way too freaking big. Ah, it's trial and error, boys. It's trial and error. Ah, right, yo, check out how much bait is here, right? Here, throw some bread out there for him. Look how much freaking bait comes up right there. We just need the perfect size bait, honestly, because too big of a bait is not good we need like the right candy size we basically need snook candy that's what i'm trying to catch right now i'm trying to catch snook candy and i would definitely prefer prefer a brim right now a brim might be a little more prime there we go that's snook candy right there damn look at the colors on them that is snook candy right there. And as I just hooked him like that, you know what? I'm gonna rehook him a little bit right on the top. You know what? I'm gonna leave him hooked just like that. But look at look at that beautiful South Florida bait right there. Look at the nice teal colors on it right there. Dang, it's like speckled. Beautiful looking bait, perfect size too. This is a good size for like a nice medium to large size fish. Let's see what happens when I throw him out there. These things are hardy baits too. These things stay pumping, they stay kicking. We just need something to take it. That's all we need right now. All right, yeah, honestly, I got broken off like twice and I lost all my leaders. So these big baits, I'm not going to be using. Like, I'm just gonna send this one right back on its way. Beautiful fish though, but right now, don't have the gear to be throwing super, super big baits like that. All right. We're gonna be throwing super small baits right now. Oh my god, look at that fish right there. That's a koi fish. Oh my gosh. Guys, are you kidding me right now? Grab the bread. Oh my god. Yo, there's an albino koi fish out there. I wonder if he's gonna eat. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It's right there, it's swimming out. It's an albino koi fish. Holy smokes. I can't believe I just saw that. Guys, I did not know that there's albino koi fish out here at the spillway. This is so freaking interesting right now. It's my first time fishing this spillway. 
and I mean, I got hit by a big tarpon, see albino koi fish. There's a bunch of little fish in the area. We just need something really small. We need a small bait. Come on, something tiny, tiny, tiny. We need something really freaking small because these big baits are just scaring away everything else. I have no leader right now. I'm fishing straight 12 pound mono. Sometimes like that. There's a lot of small fish right here. My hook is big though. I don't know, we're gonna make it work somehow, guys. No, 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 we don't want that. Yeah, that's what we want. That's what we want right there. That is what we want right there. Go ahead and try that one out. Get a nice good cast out there, right there in the middle. Oh man, you see, I know you guys saw that. Oh, my fish is freaking out right now. My bait's freaking out. He's tweaking. Ah, I threw out that big sunfish with a bobber he's freaking the hell out right now so guys my bait is literally going straight inside this spillway i have it on a bobber right now and it's going like oh he's got spill oh my god he's got freaking smoked oh my gosh come on come back for it come back for it come back for it guys my bait just got freaking smoked I have a circle hook on with no leader. How did he miss it? Guys, how the hell did he miss that? Guys, my bait is in the target zone right now. It's in the, oh, just got smoked. One, two, oh my God. Just eat it. How did he miss it? Guys, I'm not sure how, th how that fish missed that bait right there, but I mean, I'm in the target zone right now. My fish went directly into the freaking spillway. It's <laughs> exactly what I wanted. I don't know what's going on right now. I don't know how the hell you missed it. So my bobber is right in there. This guy, I don't know, I don't know if he's gonna come back for it, honestly, guys. But anyways, this is a beautiful spot, and I'm definitely gonna be fishing here more often. This bait, there's big fish. Is there's literally nobody here but me. I mean, this is pretty insane. It's quiet. It's peaceful. Um, and not to mention, it's only a block away from where I live. So if you guys want to see more of these videos, if you guys are enjoying these spillway videos, uh, just comment down below and give the video a like. You know, I really appreciate it. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Clapped on. Just got clapped on. Whole bobber just went under. I have no visibility of my bobber right now. And I have a circle hook on with no leader, so I'm going to let him eat. And then I'm just going to reel up on him, see what happens. But my bobber went down. My line's not even racing or anything. I don't know what the hell's going on right now. You know what? I'm just going to reel up on him. Just see what happens, right? I mean, it's a pretty big bait. Let's be honest. <laughs> All 
All right, y'all, this big old fish got to go. Honestly, I just caught the perfect size snook candy bait. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the snook candy at him because this, this is the right size. This is a prime example of the right size of bait that we should be throwing out here. You know, those other big ones are for like gigantic freaking 40 pound, I mean 40 inch snook. You know, we're just trying to get, you know, the slot size because it is snook season, you know. So, this is the size we're going to be needing right there. Basically, a perfect bite size piece, you know. One bite, a slot snook should be able to just absolutely choke this. So, boom. Let me just hook it. Let me hook it a little better than that. Actually, let me do this right. So, let me teach you guys something real quick before I lose my bait. All right, so check this out, right? Now, if you hook it in the front, it's kind of good, but if also if you hook it right here, it's gonna keep the bait high up in the water column if you hook it right here. Exactly what we want right now because the current is not ripping too crazy and we want a top water bite right now. So that's exactly what it's gonna do for us.